Hello, this is Dr. Albert Mensa for Mensa Medical Moment. Parents, we've talked a lot about females and copper toxicity, but are you aware that your young males could also be copper toxic? Now, when we talk about copper toxicity, we're not just talking about exposure. We're talking about what is usually a genetic inability to get rid of copper. Now, that can lead to behavior disorders. Now, unlike females, young males don't present around puberty. Their symptoms and challenges start somewhere between age two and age six and may continue all the way through puberty and beyond. What kind of symptoms? Well, you may see anxiety, you may see depression. You may have had a diagnosis of behavior disorder thrown in the mix somewhere. Impulsivity, agitation, ADHD, ADD. Quite often, these particular diagnoses are actually associated with a child's inability for control and focus. With copper toxicity, Copper acts as a stimulant. It basically produces an adrenaline surge, and that's hard to control. But here's the deal. It doesn't mean your child is bad. It means that there's actually a difficulty that is correctable. So first, we've got to be aware before we can test, and then once we test, we can treat. So when you see your child being impulsive, agitated, seemingly uncontrollable, don't accept the fact that it's, well, he's just a little boy, and he's going to grow out of it. There are some very common biochemical imbalances that could be underlying causes. Awareness is key. So the next time you see this happening, or maybe you've got a friend whose child seems impulsive or agitated, let's talk about the copper toxicity issue. Let's test and treat. This is Dr. Albert Mensa for a Mensa Medical Moment.